Hey guys, welcome to today's video, which I have been teasing for a little while with pictures on Instagram or on my community page here on the tube. And it's time to talk about some really beautiful spring palettes. I saw several weeks ago, several of these pop up and I know I'm late to the game. <laughs> I'm late for spring, but I wanted to put them on and show you not only what the palettes look like, but show you some of the looks that you can get with them and uh, took my sweet time with it. So here we go. This is the Natasha Denona 5 Pan in Coral. And this is a look I've used a couple of times recently. So I did one with the... Um, I don't even remember what. I know I did two videos. I created one and I recreated one. The first one was... That was then, this was now. And the second one was I recreated this. In the that was then, this is now. I had this eye had this on it for deepening. So did this eye. But I mentioned in the second video when I did the application, because I've got so much going on over here, I can put it on both eyes and you can only see it on one eye, so I decided not to do that. But it's beautiful if you can deepen up with this shade. I find these three shades, and honestly, these are the two I used. And, you know, deepening up with this and this all over the place, it's not a complicated look. This, if you're into it, but it's this lavender that makes this a spring palette to me. Otherwise, if you take that out, this is more of a summer palette, I think. So that's Natasha Denona Coral. Now, I did another warm look with this is ColourPop Sweet Talk, which I just, look, I love flowers, you guys. So I look at this, I'm like, pretty, thank you. And I look at these colors and I think, pretty, thank you. Now, this is a trick. <laughs> when they do this in a color that is not black, white, or gray, and gray is neutral, so I prefer that they're in gray, you put it in something like this, your eye is going to be deceived what color this is, because your eye's taking it all in. This is a peachy palette, and when I bought it, I thought, ooh, pinky. Pinky peachy, but not really. So the truth is, I feel that you could probably get a similar look to this with this, but I did do an eye look with both, and I preferred the eye look with this one, but if you're on a budget, this one is less expensive. There's not a color exactly like this. You would have to mix this darker brown with this one, but I would say this color is similar to this color. Either way you look at it, I think this is a beautiful palette. I like these powders quite a bit. This is my first color pop, and I actually, I have to say this. This shade right here, it's crazy. It's so, so pretty, and it can easily be just one and done all over the lid. I think I kind of messed that up because I keep on digging into it. It might be hard pan, but it's so, so pretty. It's like a ballet slipper with a sheen to it. Not a gold sheen, but not super, super cold, like a white gold sheen, so not quite silver. And I have to give an honorable mention to something that I, I couldn't find. I don't know if it's being made anymore, but it's also inexpensive. And this is the Essence Palette in Hey LA. And you might be able to find it somewhere. Um, I saw a YouTuber use this, and her eyes are very, very different than mine. But I thought, oh, that look is so pretty. I have to have it for myself. These are like 12 bucks, so I went ahead and did it. I was not able to recreate the look because our eyes are so different. But I love this because it has some lavender, um, a warmish pink, a fuchsia pink, and this is um, a shimmer, but not, you know, well, maybe not even a shimmer, maybe more of a satin once you put it on. And then you have a peach, a brown. I think it's just a good mix. This is a matte. I think it's a great mix, and you can go two ways with this. You can go warm or cool. If you can find it somewhere, if they're not actually done with this palette, it's a good palette, and it's inexpensive. And then another one in a pink zone. So this one I did not put on my eyes, um, but I recently found Dr. Shireen Idris, and she did something. She said, people always ask me what I put on my eyes. She goes, I just put this. This is what she's putting on the eyes. And it looks so, so beautiful on her. Again, she's not hooded like I am. And I think she just, you, she does it with her fingers. Her pans are completely hollowed out. 
and it is a pretty color. When I first got this, it was this chick yellow situation that just sang to me. I love a yellow, and that's a really, really pretty one. So you can make yellow the star of the show with this palette. I know a lot of people don't like Huda. I happen to think that this is very pretty. It's a little difficult. There is a learning curve, but it's very, very pretty. I did do a look with this one. This is the Viseart Soleil, and you know what, you guys? I think their Soleils are better than the these. I just do. I think there's a lot of filler in those, and this just gets it done for you. This yellow is much better than the one they just did. But again, there is something about yellow that's very hard. So this is the yellow here, and here it is in my hand. You lose that brightness. Yellow's really, really tough. But I love yellow with purple. I love yellow with blue. I got a very pretty look. This shade is so pretty. Do, 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 do. You know, I might actually, this one and this one might be really interesting. Well worth it. I do like these minis the best from Viseart. Another one from Viseart, this is the Violette. Now this is what I mean about a lot of filler. <laughs> I don't think we need all of this down here. You know what? The palette's done here, I think. These are all very, very cool tone, and you could actually just not do any of this up here. How should I do this? And this is actually a pretty decent, <laughs> come on, a pretty decent daily look, but it's quite cool. I am wearing on my eyes today the Natasha Denona Glam, which I hadn't put on in a long time. And that is a cool palette, but it's not cool cool. It's I have to say it's cool neutral, and this is super, super, super cool. Which means, on many skin tones, this is going to be awful. Just awful. And it's pretty close to not fantastic on me, for my taste. I feel it's a little bit deadening. But this... It's beautiful. This, beautiful. This, beautiful. Beautiful. That's those three shades right there. And it's beautiful. <laughs> a blue look for me is quite spring. I did a blue look on this. This is the Dior Denim Palette. And I was able to finally put something together. I think I just used this color just right here. And then I went in with a beige from probably something else all over, or I might have used this beige. Very, very simple color story. Like these three colors, probably you don't need that one. These two colors, and maybe something else just to, you know, give yourself a little bit of depth. It's beautiful. I love these shadows. Such an improvement from the last formulation. And blue is spring for me. Spring for me. I guess I should have talked about it yellow, pink, purples, blues, greens, that's spring. Let's talk about green. Here we go. Natasha Denona Trio Chrome. This palette actually is very, very spring. You could just do this, kind of the corally thing. There's nothing special in this row, and in fact, I think I have things like it, but it's solid. This cool row here, to me, not quite as cool as, well, I can't get the plastic off, as this one. This one to me is more cool. Somehow, this works better on my skin tone than this one, but this one has those other colors that I really love and this one doesn't, so, you know, both work. But this is the palette you go to for the green. And I put together a, a sweet little green eye and we'll show, show in your picture like I have for everything else. Is it the perfect green palette? It is not. Have I met the perfect green palette? I have not. So green is something I'm so deeply attracted to. Blues and greens. But they are hard to do because they are just, they're not colors that are naturally occurring in anybody's skin tone. Where there are colors in here that are naturally occurring. Not a lot of them, but if you look at skin, no matter what color you are, you will find many different colors in your skin if you just 
really take a look. And in different areas, your neck, your chest, the sides of your face, the, you know, the center of your face, tons and tons of different colors. And I think you will find some of these cooler colors in there, some of the warmer colors in here, some of the pinks in here, the peaches. All of these colors are colors that can be found in skin tones. Green and blue, uh, really. So they're a little bit harder to make work where it's not jarring. You can do a big statement green and a big statement blue, and those are always very fun. But I, you know, I'm, I'm just lately, you guys, I've been going through something where I just, I feel like I'm kind of tired of makeup artists who say, 1960s blah 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 look or you know cover magazine look and and it's like it's fun you know but for real life for real life I don't know too many women who want to leave the house looking like that I lie I don't know anyone who wants to leave the house like that we're not models we're not doing red carpet we're not you know what I mean that's not who 99.9% .9 of us are, when I go about my world, go about my business, I don't meet women who wear tons and tons of makeup and have those looks. And I'm just kind of feeling like, as a makeup artist, it's, it's great, it's fun to do something editorial, and I like to do it. But it would be more helpful to me to have a look that is pretty and wearable, and it can be fun without being smacking you in the face. And I feel like these palettes will get you there. And that's it, you guys. So I guess what? I'm just gonna run through it again. The Rose Palette by Huda. I'm gonna keep this out so I can play with it. The Soleil and the Violette, both from Viseart. The Natasha Denona Coral. The ColourPop Sweet Talk. The Essence Hey LA. And the Natasha Denona Triochrome and the Dior palette in denim. And that is a nice little, hits all my little watercolor colors, you know what I mean? And my friends, that is it. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me. I hope it was helpful to you. And check out my spring perfume. I chose eight perfumes from my collection that are very beautiful. Each have a different heart note. So we have Hawthorne, which isn't in the video, but it's in the honorable mention below. We have Lily of the Valley, we have Heliotrope, we have, uh, well, uh, several things I can't remember anymore, Fig, etc. And, you know, it's kind of like spring week, I guess, right now. And that's it. Let me know, actually, if you want another spring perfume, because I have a ton more. That was just kind of, you know, touching the base. I have things that are a little harder to find, that are a little more niche that are very very interesting and I, you know I'd be happy to do that if it's interesting to you. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I hope it was helpful to you. I hope I may have given you some ideas and I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be smart, be safe, and I'm wishing you good health.